In this tutorial, you will learn how to use PaintShop Photo Pro in combination with Crazy Talk to let your photos do the talking. Open your picture in PaintShop Photo Pro. I will use this one as a demonstration. As you can see, the photo is a little too wide with all the blank space on the right, and the colors also seem a bit bland. These problems are easily fixed. Using the Crop tool, select the part of the photograph you want to keep, and press Enter. The unwanted portion of the picture will now be removed. To improve the colors, go to Adjust, Brightness and Contrast, Brightness slash Contrast, and adjust the sliders until the picture looks good to you. In addition, I am going to go to Adjust, Color, Red, Green, Blue, and slightly increase the amount of blue to create a more natural lighting. The image is now ready to be imported into Crazy Talk for animation. To import your picture, go to the Model tab and click on the Import Image icon and let the Out of Face Fitting Wizard guide you through the quick and easy process of preparing your image for animation. In addition to the wizard, also turn on the Detailed Facial Mode and move the points into their correct positions to ensure the most precise and accurate facial animation. Crazy Talk also provides custom facial features such as virtual eyes, teeth, and mouth to help you create the most memorable talking characters. There are eye templates for many different categories for you to choose from. To further customize, click on Modify. The Eyeball tab allows you to adjust the size of the eyeballs and the color of the eyes. The Eye Optics let you adjust the specular light spots on the shadows of the eyes. And Eye Magic allows you to add eye shadow and eyelashes. For further teeth customization, click on the mouth icon. Choose a suitable set of teeth and adjust the color settings so that it matches the rest of the image and looks natural. The mouth and lip tabs also allow further adjustments if necessary. Once the face has been properly prepped, you can begin the facial animation. Let's start by adding audio. You can do this by importing an existing audio file, recording on the spot, or using the text-to-speech feature. I already have an audio file, so I'm going to just add it to the project. Crazy Talk's audio lip syncing from audio or text will automatically animate your character accordingly. However, with only this, you will find your character looks a rather stiff and unnatural. Hey, kiddo. Grandpa misses you very much. I am painting a picture for you to come over and see it. So let's make it more emotive by adding some head movement and facial expressions. There are several ways to do this. One of the most powerful is puppeteering. The puppet control feature gives you real-time control over facial expressions throughout the duration of the audio clip. You will find various profiles in the panel. So select the one most suitable for your character, and the QWERTY keys will allow you to quickly switch between different emotions within the profile. Moving your cursor around results in various expressions. Play around and experiment with it, and once you are ready, press the record button and puppeteer the facial expressions of your character as the audio clip runs. Hey kiddo, grandpa misses you very much. I am painting a picture for you to come over and see it. These will be recorded onto the timeline where you can further refine and customize by ungrouping the motion clip and using the key editor to select and edit existing frames or create new ones. To make it even more interesting, you can also include special effects. Pick a spot on the special effects timeline and click on the SFX icon to open the special effects window. Here, you can choose from numerous effects, from disguises to metaphors and even thought bubbles to add to your animation. Once you are done, the output section allows you to select from a large variety of export formats, including MP4, BMP sequence, flash file, and WMA. Choose from NTSC, PAL, or HD resolutions, and even enable 3D stereo vision output. You can also export your animation as a widget, 
or if you'd like to put it on YouTube, simply go to the YouTube tab where you can directly upload and publish your video in one easy step to share with your family and friends. Hey, kiddo. Grandpa misses you very much. I am painting a picture for you to come over and see it. 